Hello everyone, welcome back to Math with Allison. Today we're working in our sequences of series series, so we're going to be talking about the divergence test. So let's go ahead and dive into it. What is a divergence test? So here we take an infinite series, right? We have the series n equals 1 to infinity of our terms a sub n. What we do for the divergence test is we take the limit as n goes to infinity of our terms. There are two options here. So one option is that it is not equal to 0. If this limit is not equal to 0, that tells us that the series is going to diverge. The other option is when it is equal to 0. And this is where the test is inconclusive. So let's go ahead and talk about our different options here. First, we have when the limit is not equal to 0. So let's take the series n equals 1 to infinity of n plus 1 divided by n. The first thing we do for this test is we take the limit as n goes to infinity of our little sequence. So n plus 1 divided by n. Here we can go ahead and rewrite it as a limit as n goes to infinity of. We can separate this into two fractions. So n divided by n plus 1 over n. But of course we have that n divided by n is just equal to 1. So when we evaluate this limit, we're going to end up with 1 plus 0. 1 over n goes to 0 as n gets really, really large, which is equal to 1. So here we have that the terms converge to 1, right? So when n is large enough, we have that the summation from n equals 1 to infinity is going to be equal to 2 plus 3 halves plus 4 thirds plus 5 fourths. And then at some point, it's converging to 1. So we're just going to infinitely be adding 1s, which is why it's never going to converge. It's always going to be adding up, and it's going to go diverge to infinity. So we are forever adding whatever the limit value is, right? So we have that our series diverges by the divergence test. What about when the limit is equal to 0? Here you might think, well, don't you think it should converge because at some point we're just adding 0? That is not always the case. Let's go ahead and take the harmonic series. So that's the series k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k. We're going to take the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k. Now this goes to 0, right, which is a bit confusing. But the harmonic series diverges, and I have a proof of that in my previous video if you want to check it out. So that's the reason that if the limit is equal to 0, the test is inconclusive. So by the name divergence test, it only tells us if a series diverges. Otherwise, it's inconclusive. So let's go through some examples. Here we have the summation k equals 1 to infinity of 1 plus 3 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of k. What we do is we take the limit as k approaches infinity of our little formula. We're going to go ahead and separate this. We want to evaluate it, so we need to simplify it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is write this as 1 over 2 to the power of k plus 3 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of k. I just broke it up into the two fractions. So notice here, since these are both to the power of k, we can rewrite it as a fraction, 3 halves to the power of k. And let's go ahead and think about what this does. 1 over 2 to the power of k, as k gets really, really big, this is going to go to 0. But notice this term right here. 3 is larger than 2. So the numerator is going to grow more quickly than the denominator. So it's going to get very large, and that's going to diverge to infinity. So here we have that this limit is equal to infinity. Infinity is an actual solution you can get because it's not equal to zero. So that tells us that this series is going to diverge. Let's go ahead and see another example. We have k equals 1 to infinity of k squared divided by 2 to the k. So of course we're going to apply the divergence test. We're going to take the limit as k goes to infinity of our little formula. And here, what notice first that if I plug infinity into the numerator and denominator, this is going to approach infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate form, and it tells us that we can use L'Hopital's rule. So here, I'm going to use L'Hopital's. We get the limit as k approaches infinity. That becomes 2k divided by 2k times the natural log of 2. Here, again, if I plugged in infinity, this would approach infinity over infinity, which tells us that we can use L'Hopital's rule for a second time. So here we have the limit as k approaches infinity. Now we just have a 2 in the numerator, and then in the denominator we have 2k times the natural log of 2 times the natural log of 2. So notice here when we plug in infinity, the numerator is still approaching 2, just 2. Our denominator, 2 to the power of infinity, is going to be infinity. And so this is going to approach 0. So we have since the limit is 0, the test is inconclusive. It doesn't tell us anything interesting. Let's try one more. We have k equals 1 to infinity of k to the 1 over k. So again, we're going to set up our limit. Limit as k approaches infinity of k to the 1 over k. 
Notice this is going to approach infinity to the power of zero. This is an indeterminate form, but it's not as a fraction, so we can't just use L'Hopital's. So we're going to have to manipulate this a little bit. So we have y is equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of k to the 1 over k. I want to get that 1 over the k out of the exponent. So what I do is I take the natural log of both sides. The purpose of doing that is so we can bring that exponent down to the front. That is one of the properties of natural log functions. So here we get 1 over k times natural log of k. But remember, in order to use L'Hopital's, this needs to be a fraction. So instead of having it as 1 over k, I'm going to write it as natural log of k divided by k. Because notice what this approach is. This approach is infinity over infinity, which tells us we can use L'Hopital's rule. So we have natural log of y, right? We're only using L'Hopital's within the limit, so I don't take the derivative of natural log. Don't do that. We get 1 over k divided by 1, which I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite that as 1 over k. Now we can evaluate this limit. We get 1 over infinity, which is going to approach 0. So we have the natural log of y is equal to 0. Now I want to get y all by itself, because y is the original limit. That's what we actually want to see the solution to. So I'm going to have both sides raised to e. e and natural log cancel out, and we get y is equal to e to the 0. And remember, y was equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of k to the 1 over k. And that is equal to 1. So we have... Since the limit is not equal to 0, right, 1 is not equal to 0, that tells us by the divergence test that this series is going to diverge. So that's all I have for us in this video today. If you enjoyed it, I have many more like it, so make sure to check out my playlist or link down below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and comment other problems or topics you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching.